Greetings, I'm Joe Schrader. I'm the inventor of a device called a leg sim. It's a leg simulator. And I'm right now dealing with a pick line. I have a nurse here that is taking care of me. She's the one that installed the pick line. And we got talking about the problems with infection. And this doctor, Sam Gouldy, that I had worked with about 10 years ago, who was non-weight bearing, and he also had a pick line, and he was actually my first client. So we got talking and we thought that it might be a good idea to get together and just talk about the hazards of pick lines and what can be done. So I'd like to kind of turn this over to, this is Jan Elliott. And Hello. Hi, I'm Jan Elliott. I'm a board um, certified vascular access specialist for New York State. I'm also the president for the Association of Vascular Access, CNY, here locally in Syracuse. And um, I met Joe a few weeks ago when, when I walked into his room talking about crutch walking with uh, vascular access devices, especially the PIC line. And so I told him that I would like to, um, with October being a, a vascular access awareness month, that I would like to um, talk to him about some interventions and some resources that we can help people that do have vascular access devices, such as the PIC line, deal with their um, problems in the home care setting. And uh, this actually uh, relates to me in as much as I had a pick line and uh, Joe and I had talked uh, during the time that I was uh, using the leg sim to try to get around. He was good enough to bring one of his first devices to my house uh, to assist me in ambulation uh, when I had an external fixator for a bad fracture of my uh, fibula and tibia and having some kind of device that wouldn't put pressure on that pick line. Uh, his leg sim uh, device actually takes the pressure off the axillary area where most pick lines passing through. And uh, so it came to pass that when Joe had his pick line and uh, discussed the access capacity with Jan, who's an expert in this field, uh, we all came to the kind of a rapid conclusion that the leg sim is a terrific alternative to crutches because of the force field developed into the axillary area and the capacity of the crutch to compress the facilitator in the axillary area and possibly cause uh, coagulation or thrombosis formation within the uh, catheter. And Jan has told me today that about 25% people who have a catheter will have it uh, plugged at some point or another either by thrombus or by fibrin or by just constriction. Uh, and if that can be uh, reduced, if that frequency of uh, complication can be reduced by utilizing the, le utilizing the leg sim, that seems like a terrific bonus, not only to the person, but to the healthcare system in general. I primarily work with amputees, and the leg sim is considered to be a leg simulator. It's used when you're not wearing your prosthesis. Unfortunately, so many amputees have so many medical conditions that cause them infections. And I've run into so many people that have had pick lines. Jan, I'd like to give it back to you because you're the person that actually is, is taking care of me, thank goodness. And, uh, you know, do you have any advice for me? What should I not, what shouldn't I be doing or what should I be doing? You're doing everything that I would basically tell you to be doing, especially with not putting any pressure on that axillary vein. Um, with your pick line placement, it is in the basilic, and it was um, one out of four catheters become occluded, 25% um, be, do become occluded from thrombose or thrombose um, firm clot formation on either the internal or external catheter. And crutch walking is one of the um, problems with the pick line being placed in the basilic vein, which yours is. And this uh, leg sim has been working well for you, and when I saw it, I was extremely impressed by, you know, its capabilities and what it's helped you significantly and there's no pain associated and pain is also one of the other things that's associated with crutch walking with people that do have pick lines is they do get pain under that area and um, then they have to go to walking with a walker so and then they you know get upset that they have to walk with a walker and once again it affects their ADLs and everything else that they're trying to you know do during their um, daily routine so. So I think it'd probably be reasonable to actually demonstrate right. how this crutch fits into your axillary yeah. area, and it, it makes it it makes it that much more obvious uh, when somebody sees where your pick line runs through your your up, upper arm, and 
obviously if they, you can't see the pick line. This catheter, Jen knows exactly where it goes. I'll just demonstrate demonstrate where it goes. It goes all the way through here and goes into the uh, superior vena cave over here, right above the heart. So a critical area is where it traverses the axillary region, where it can be easily demonstrated with this crutch. That that's a critical area, and it's being pressurized by the crutch. So it makes all sorts of good sense to try to relieve that a little bit. Mm -hmm. The nerves in there also get damaged, but in this case, mm -hmm. we're worried more about the catheter than we are the nerves. But we have to talk to patients a lot about not damaging that nerve. Now, maybe if we can just see you on. So I had knee surgery two weeks ago, and I'm actually doing really well. I'm walking around, and I this is how this device works. You basically are using a, a, a seated you know, frame that puts you in alignment, so you're put in balance and you lift up on the handle. See, so you're lifting up, you're not pressing down, and you make a step. So it's, it's very easy on the hands. There isn't a lot of pressure on your upper body, which is one of the things that uh, so many of our clients, uh, the doctors will write letters of medical necessity because a, a patient you know, may have a torn rotator cuff, for an example, and they can't use a walker or crutches, but they can use this. So if we can help somebody with this video, uh, that, that, thank you for you know, giving us the opportunity to talk with you a little bit today. And do you have anything else no, to say? Yes. Thank you for your time, and hopefully this will help you or somebody, one of your loved ones or family members that does have a pick line that needs to use crutches. One of the safest alternatives, once again, is the leg sim. And maybe save somebody from a complication or rehospitalization or, or worse. So that's our that's our goal. Thank you. Thank you.